Uh, but it's not going to do well by itself. No, we've been on the road play at Cincinnati. We play at Memphis. We play at SMU. Um, we play at Wichita State. We, we see the fans at other schools. And uh, my heart used to hurt so bad for our kids. We'd go on the road and play in front of a packed crowd, and we'd come home and there's maybe 200 people, which includes 75 free tickets. Um, but we caught up and we've exceeded. And now we're the flagship program for our, our conference. But there's a lot of people that can slap themselves on the back and congratulate themselves. And I'm here and I'm looking at this camera and I'm telling those, those people, thank you. Because this don't happen without you. But you know what? Um, we can't be satisfied. We can't stay where we're at. Philanthropy is competitive. <laughs> it, you know, I mean, uh, it's not easy. It's like building a facility. It ain't going to build itself. Somebody's got to help you. Somebody's got to care enough about their past experiences that they're going to pay forward what those past experiences has afforded them. You know, like uh, my, my wife and I give gifts to UNC Pembroke. We both graduated from there. You know, we support UNC Pembroke. Uh, uh, we support uh, University of uh, Houston financially. Um, but that's what we should do. You know, uh, the Bible, the Bible uh, tells us to tithe, and it tells us how much. But some people do, some people don't. But you know, uh, giving is, is a big part of uh, what makes a person whole. You know, you, you've got to give back, man. You, you, just, you just have to. You don't have to give back like other people give back. You give back, you give back the way you can.